It's your man Nick Cannon. This is First We Feast. It's going down. Waffle House, be a part of it. Hey, what's going on everybody for First We Feast? I'm Sean Evans. I'm Ellie Lee. And you're watching Empty Calories. You already know how it starts. Jackson, roll some clips. This looks like a candy chicken you could eat. <laughs> Look at that, guys. The world's first rainbow chocolate chicken. So he's putting all these melted chocolate colors into this mold to make a chicken. How many subscribers does this guy have? Like over 7 million? Yep. Sometimes I think that we're like a good YouTube channel and we're headed the right direction, but basically like every other YouTube channel beats the shit out of us. So red is done, orange is next. Oh man, he did the throw. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is amazing. It looks like it might actually work. I know we're gonna crack on it, but his right. rainbow yeah, chicken look, does look, look like kind of beautiful. <laughs> Making knives hot and then cutting shit is like the hottest thing on YouTube now. Everybody's doing it, even this guy. And yeah, totally mm -hmm. worth it. And that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me I'm congratulating these two phenomenal chefs. There are people who are probably wondering, you know, you guys are a food show, you talk about food mm -hmm. shows. One of the biggest food shows out is Hell's Kitchen. Where are the Gordon Ramsay highlights? Mm -hmm. Have you noticed what I've noticed that we have a much more polite, yeah. compassionate, sensitive Gordon Ramsay. He doesn't seem to be seeing red like he used to. Big plus on the protein, beautifully done. Chicken's nailed, the skin is intact, the skin is crispy. Yeah, what would I do uh, differently? Uh, not much to be totally honest. Thank Great you. job. I tune in to see Gordon Ramsay look at burnt scallops, right. put that chef in the crosshairs, yeah. and then just empty the clip. And I liked seeing a borderline crime go down in the kitchen on TV. That's why I watched Hell's Kitchen. See, I like nice Gordon Ramsay. He's a dad. He found his heart. You both look incredible. Thank you. OMG. <laughs> Nurses on a gynecology ward at a Macedonian hospital are fined for celebrating the Christian New Year with cakes decorated like vaginas. vaginas. This is gonna look pretty real. Yeah. Y yeah. Would you eat one? No. Because what I do with a cupcake first is you lick the middle first. You always gotta just go straight through the middle. And then like the middle of this is just like, you know. So I don't know if you guys remember Rap Snacks, I'm sure you do, but Rap Snacks was like this novelty snack that was like big in like the mid to late 90s. And now Migos has a dab of ranch flavor. It's the dab of ranch jingle, and boy is it a sight to behold. A dab of ranch, with a dab of ranch, with a dab of ranch, we can make it happen. Ooh. Ooh. I'm kind of tired. I know. Kind of wish we can just throw the reins at Nick Cannon and like have him just talk about his favorite restaurant or something. That'd be awesome. I know. Yo, what's up, y'all? I'm Nick Cannon, and I am here to tell you why the Waffle House is the most amazing place in the Milky Way. The first place I go to when I get to the Waffle House is the jukebox, because you gotta set the mood. Make sure you put on some, some Earth, Wind & Fire, some Marvin Gaye, a little Vanilla Ice. All of that is in the jukebox. You set the mood, then you get to your food. It's being cooked for you right there. You get to see it happen. Usually, the less teeth the cook has, the better the meal is gonna be and my key dish at the Waffle House is right there on the corner of the menu because it's a laminated menu because if you pour syrup or some stuff like that on it, you just wipe it right off. Right there in the corner, T-bone steak and eggs. Cheese eggs with the hash browns mixed together, T-bone steak, a side of grits, and a waffle cooked extra crispy. Some people like to go to all these other fancy establishments. I don't do that. My favorite place is the Waffle House because the vibe is right, the people are there, and the food is amazing. Can I have some fries with that? Took on a whole new meaning at a Burger King in Epping. <coughs> customers were getting marijuana with their side of fries through the drive through when customers used the code phrase, fries extra crispy. First off, saying that you want your fries yeah. extra crispy 
that's like a relatively common yes. thing that people say. So yes. just on the code language, I feel like they were already kind of painting themselves into a corner. When customers pulled up to the window, they would ask if Nasty Boy was working, which was Norris's code name. Garrett Norris, you have chosen to name Nasty Boy. Why Nasty Boy? Well, when you look at him, look at Garrett Norris. Both Norris and Dearborn were arrested and charged. Here's another thing to talk about too in the internet age is you have all these people mm -hmm. who commit relatively minor crimes. Mm -hmm. You know, like this guy is just a small level weed dealer, but because the story is so novelty in nature, because it's just so naturally funny, mm -hmm. it becomes this national news story that even we're talking about. And you have Garrett Norris, his picture, his nasty boy nickname, mm -hmm. and all of his skeletons getting dragged out of the closet as he goes through this wide scale, huge level humiliation that'll probably ruin his life. So could, could we say Garrett Norris is the victim in this story? I hope that Garrett Norris gets the second chance that he deserves. Long live nasty boy. Well, that's a wrap for Empty Calories. Check back with us again Tuesday, 11 a.m. Yeah, Sean, I'm a vegan. <laughs> Tell me how it tastes, though. Come on. That was pretty good. <laughs> I've even cooked in the Waffle House, um, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna get somebody pregnant in the Waffle House. That's probably my next move.